At Epic, we do everything we can to preserve the integrity of your data in our circuit boards. Perhaps the most significant contribution that we make to ensure this fidelity is a process that we refer to as etch compensation. At the etch stage of manufacturing, acid is used to dissolve unwanted features away from a solid copper panel. Our state-of-the-art laser printers can photo-develop stencil-like reservoirs that allow us to transform two-dimensional artworks into highly sophisticated copper patterns. However, this method has a drawback that cannot be ignored. The etching solution will also try to eat copper underneath the protective resist as it travels down towards the laminate. As a result, the final copper pattern below the resist will shrink and slope based on how much time it spends in contact with the solution. Our engineers use empirical data and calculus to determine an appropriate increase to the dry film area. This will effectively compensate for the copper lost during the etching process. Powerful automated design tools, partnered with complex programming, allow for fast and accurate restructuring of the data. However, when this automation cannot be performed safely, our engineer must interact and find a way to preserve the data manually. In this fictitious example, the features highlighted in blue are traces that our design rules have excluded from etch comp, since doing so would render the board unable to be manufactured reliably. With a quick analysis of the compensated data, it becomes evident that failing to compensate these lines is not a reliable option either. In fact, even a slight miscalculation in the etch time during production could result in the traces being etched away completely until only the purple features remain. Finding the right balance between data integrity and manufacturability can become very convoluted, very quickly. In this case, the engineer begins by resizing a set of parallel traces, commonly referred to as a bus. The spacing issue encountered by the automation presents itself right away. Take note of a similar bus in this photograph. If the spacing issues are not remedied, short-circuit flaws like this become much more likely. The engineer will first attempt to preserve data integrity by resolving spacing issues without altering other features. Unfortunately, this will result in another type of short-circuit flaw. One of the traces in the bus now has an undesirable intersection with a plated through-hole. The next step would be to see if the data will survive partial etch comp. But as we realized earlier, and as depicted by the darkened lines in this photo, the resulting traces will likely be too thin to carry current reliably. This puts our engineer in a tight spot, as additional features will need to be modified from the original format. For this reason, we try to make our clients aware of typical spacing guidelines to consider when preparing their data for etch compensation.